Good afternoon again, tube of use. As you can see, there is a big empty space behind me here, which means that it is time once again to introduce you to an, what may be a new fan favorite. One of our toys that we've had for a few years now, I'm trying to think of how many, I think three or four, and you guys have definitely not seen it yet, but uh, yeah, one of, uh, one of the cars that I really enjoy quite a bit. Uh, it's been in storage all winter, and it is time to go dig it out and into in blah 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 introduce you guys to uh, a new piece of the family, or maybe not new, but fuck it. Good afternoon again, tube of views. As you can see, there is a large empty space behind me here, and. Uh, well, you know what that means. It is time to once again introduce you to, uh, you know. Good afternoon again, Tube of Views. It is, uh, as you can see. Good afternoon again, Tube of Views. As you can see, there is a large empty space behind me. And uh, so that means that it is time to introduce to you guys another toy that you guys have not seen. This one has been in storage all winter and it's got a pretty good story. We've had it for a few years uh, and we've got a little bit of work to do to it to kind of get it ready for the season. But uh, also means we get to drive one of your guys' favorites over to go pick it up. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. Well, I got some tools in my pocket. Had some tools in my pocket. Gonna go out and uh, head across town to see what it is I've got in store for you guys. Why, what have we here? It's a brown cow. Grab a battery, fresh interstate, and we're going to want the garage door opener. <clears throat> Head over to the Bronco, and boy oh boy, will it start. Of course everybody knows the answer to that, but you know. Obviously, you got to build up for some level of suspense. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully, I got the angle right. And I give her a couple pumps. Well, we've made it here, so now the question just becomes, what do we have hidden in this mysterious garage? This is actually one of Kayla's toys, and ta-da, while it, why it's a shiny red Mustang. So, big thing is, battery was bad as of last year, not holding the charge, going dead, um, kind of a junky cheap battery was in this thing. It is a 96 and it's a 5 liter. And so you guys are probably, if you know anything about Mustangs, gonna argue with me, but we'll explain all of that later. For now, let's get a battery in it and get it back to, uh, back to the other garage. Well, as you can see, we've got a battery in here. <clears throat> as you can also see, hopefully, it is indeed a 5 liter, and uh, I'd show you the registration, but I probably won't. It is indeed a 96. 
all things that I will explain at a later date. But um, I will also, in true Wayne Wick fashion, of course, there's always some hidden gems somewhere, so I will do a quick pan to the right and back because I'm just kind of curious to see what anybody picks out here. Um, of course, the big question now is, this thing hasn't been started since spring, so we probably need to see if it's gonna fire up for us. It is a little bit temperamental. <clears throat> the fuel pump is too small, and uh, so it gets a little grumbly with me. But, uh, you know, all, uh, you know, Hurdles you got to cross with any good build. So here we go. There we go. First start of the Mustang since what I believe was, uh, must have been about August ish. But uh, regardless, we are going to. Uh, drop the hood and uh, get over to the other garage so we'll see you there well we have successfully made it back to the garage <clears throat> with the Mustang and so I can now explain to you what it is that I'm babbling on about you know hopefully some of you care to hear but at any rate uh, what had happened was Kayla when she was a, a young girl had uh, built a model of this exact car 96 Ford Mustang the model was blue but it was a body style that she had just craved for uh, for many years and so we actually went in hunt of one um, hey, even though the SN 95s are not particularly popular uh, it's it's still you know something that she just wanted the car is a 96 indeed as I've said many times and uh, it is indeed a five liter. The car by VIN code is actually a uh, 3.8 V6 automatic car. As you can see, hopefully it is a five speed. Um, so this car is kind of the product, if you will, of many different cars and uh, quite a bit of money, to be honest but it's an absolute riot to drive. The motor that's in here is actually a Mustang Cobra uh, 94, Mustang Cobra 50. Uh, for any of you that are wondering, it is uh, it has actually been converted to OBD2, so I can read it with an OBD2 scanner. Uh, obviously converted to five speed, that's a world-class T5 that's in it. Uh, the car has been lowered two inches, uh, it's got a Mosier 9 inch with uh, the light and center section, 373 gears uh, with a spool, um, Nietzsche racing wheels, uh, it's been lowered 2 inches, it's got a lot of really trick work done to it, and the car is a riot, it's an absolute hoot to drive, but uh, of course there's always some little things, one of those being, as I mentioned earlier, the fuel pump. Fuel pump is still 3.8 V6. Um, the radiator is still 3.8 V6. We've never gotten the AC right because the lines are different from the V6 cars to, well, what would have been a 4.6 or a, you know, the from the 3.8 to putting the 5 liter in here, the the lines change enough so that <clears throat> that it uh, <laughs> has kept me from getting her AC. Um, <clears throat> as far as the motor itself, there's nothing particularly special done to it. It's just, just Cobra motor stuff. Uh, put a set of eBay headers on it. It's got uh, Flowmasters, uh, Series 20s, in conjunction with a set of Cherry Bombs, because it was pretty obnoxious. Cold air intake. All of the trick stuff that has been done here has mostly been done to the rear suspension, to... Uh, eliminate a lot of axle hop and to try and get that rear end to hook up and go and much to our chagrin it is while it has made the car fun it has also created some problems for us in uh, in terms of a uh, little bit of driveline vibration and some street ability uh, while it still gets pretty decent mileage down the highway 
it also um, it's just those 373s I'd love to have a deeper gear uh, you guys will get to see my Mustang somewhere in the future here when I get that one out of storage um, and that one's a much more streetable um, uh, just drivable not streetable as much as just drivable vehicle uh, whereas this one has just constantly been a been a work in progress all we've really got to do at this particular moment in time is to put on some e-brake cables the we got one hanging up uh, which has caused us some issues with the brakes which is probably going to mean that we end up upgrading the brakes at some point in time here this year and um, the uh, door jar switch on the driver's side door has been an issue and so we get the bulb pulled out of the dome light and yeah so just some niggly things short of that over the course of the year we are going to upgrade the fuel system we probably are going to end up with an aluminum radiator of course electric fans and uh and just some stuff like that but at any rate now you guys have seen another one of kayla's toys another one of our toys and uh you can look forward to future videos where we continue to upgrade and dump copious amounts of money into this very fun car but at any rate moving forward until another video do all of the youtubery things that you guys have done thus far rate comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in another video